19 year old Brad Foster wanted a BMW 760 ever since he was a kid. So when he turned 15, he found a way to buy one and make it a business investment. I wasn't even able to drive yet. I was 15, so I paid someone to drive for me. A chauffeur business was not Foster's first time around the block as an entrepreneur. While most kids were playing video games, he was making profits at a lemonade stand. And then it was on to mowing lawns and plowing snow. But his big breakthrough business came from his love of computers. I think I was 12 or 13 when I built my first computer. It's now called Spark Force. It employs six high school students who are well trained to fix apples and PCs. We do everything from networking to viruses or buying new computers, building new computers. As if being a full-time student at the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania isn't enough, this sophomore owns, get this, six other companies. That includes this hotel at a remote location called the Castle of Costa Rica or the Castillo de Pavones in Costa Rica. And there's a restaurant there. Some people impulse buy shoes or watches, and I impulse bought a hotel. Foster owns a water sports camp up north, as well as the Ten Fish Boathouse restaurant in Hubber Lake. He flips houses across the country, mainly in Philadelphia, where he goes to school. He's working on a company that will teach students how to invest. Foster's also the minority partner in a bike shop called Skate Mile in Romeo, Michigan. Oh, yeah, and he has a website called Picks from Last Night. Brad is still a teen, a teen with seven businesses. Just imagine what the next 10 years will bring. He hopes to one day be the next Donald Trump. I never really wanted to work for anyone, so I guess I kind of see myself just doing the same thing and finding out what the next idea is. And Foster says one day he hopes to own a bank and a plane and tremendously give back to his community. So the next time you see someone at a lemonade stand, stop by and give them your support. You never know, you could be looking at the next Brad Foster. <laughs> Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.